Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to set up your scuba tank. So first you're going to have to open up your air tank and test the air to make sure that it's clean and smells normal. Then you're going to get your uh, BC, which is buoyancy compensator. And your BC is like a backpack vest type thing that holds your air tank to you. And it also um, has other things attached to it. You'll be able to attach your computer to it and your gauge. You'll be able to keep any kind of things that you need that are extra, uh, like a knife or a clipboard or your, your camera, things like that. And then you're going to grab your regulator. So your regulator has two uh, devices that help you breathe. One of them is for you and one of them is for someone else to use if there is an emergency. So I'm going to see this wire right here. I'm going to put this down and it's going to attach to my BC. That way if I get uh, to the top of the water I could air up my BC and it will blow me up so I don't have to swim. I just, I just float there. Uh, then this is my backup uh, regulator. This will go into a pocket in case anyone needs it. Um, then it's kind of hard to get in there. Then you will see I turn on the air after I get it all set up and I double check and make sure that I have enough oxygen. So I look at the, uh, the gauge and the gauge will tell me how much oxygen I have. And I'll show you a picture of that whenever I get underwater. So I'm going to clip the gauge on to the BC. So see everything connects to the BC. That It's really helpful to have this. Um, so once that's connected, I'm ready to go. So now I'm going to buckle all my straps and make sure everything is working before I get in the water. I don't want to get in the water and then realize that I didn't have something connected or there's no oxygen. So I'm testing everything. I'm making sure all my straps are in. Uh, check my goggles. I put those on and then I'm ready to get in slowly. You don't want to jump in too fast because you could hurt yourself. And then you are ready to go underwater. When you're underwater, you got to make sure that you constantly breathe and you're breathing normally. Don't breathe too fast. Don't breathe too slow. And then here is what the computer and the gauge looks like. So the gauge is at the bottom and it tells me how much oxygen I have left. And then the computer up top tells me the time and how deep I am and things like that. So that I know how long I'm, I've been down and how deep I went. And then here's my awesome bag full of stuff. So in my dive bag, I have my wetsuit. Uh, this would be something I would wear if it was just kind of cold outside or I was not going too deep. If I'm going really deep or it's really cold, I would need the long sleeve one. These are my fins. In the video, I didn't wear them because I couldn't really swim very far anywhere in the video, but these are my fins. They're really long uh, and they bend really well, so it helps me go faster or slower in the water. And then also attached to my fins is my boot. This boot is something, whenever I take it off, the boot is something that I could wear as I'm walking into the water and then I just slide it right in and I'm able to attach it and go swimming. Here's my goggles and I always keep the snorkel attached so whenever I'm underwater, if I'm swimming at the surface, I could still breathe without using up all my oxygen. Also in my dive bag, this is something that I would attach to my BC. Um, when I attach it to my BC, it would probably go in one of my pockets or on one of the hooks. And then I unattach it and I would hook it to this flag. So this flag is my dive flag and it says diver below on it. And this is something that I would keep with me also attached to my BC. And uh, whenever I'm swimming and I'm ready to go up, I would air this up and shoot it to the top. And it would be attached to me at the end. And that way I'm able, or boats around me are able to know that there's someone coming up in this area so I don't get hit by a boat. I have my dive knife. Now, no, this is not so that I could go hunting for animals or keep animals away from me. When we're underwater, most of the animals aren't going to bother you. This is in case I'm in danger of, like, I'm swimming and I get caught in a fishnet or I see a sea turtle caught in a fishnet. I'm able to take this knife out and I'm able to cut it out and get him uh, fixed and taken care of. Hey, Mr. Bunch, this is Bill here and I have a couple of questions that your students submitted. 
Akela and Gael both have questions about sharks. Akela wants to know how can you swim with sharks, and Gael wants to know if you've ever touched a shark. Well, Akela, most of the time, sharks are very careful creatures, and they don't want to be around people. And Gael, no, I have never touched a shark before. Now, a couple of your students want to know about the fish you've seen. Eric wants to know the biggest fish you've ever seen. Peyton wants to know if you've ever seen a seahorse. And Elliot wants to know how many different fish have you seen. Well, Eric, the biggest fish I've ever seen, I'll show you a picture of it right now. And Peyton, no, I've never seen a seahorse before, and Elliot, I cannot count how many fish I've seen. I've seen so many of them. That's really cool. Now, Bailey wants to know what the coolest thing you've ever seen underwater, and Charlie wants to know, have you ever been to the coral reef? So I can answer both of those questions together. The coolest thing that I've ever seen is the coral reef. So Aiden and Emma both want to know how deep you could go in the water, and Xavier wants to know how long you could stay underwater, and Miss Bernhagen wants to know what is the procedure if you run out of oxygen? The deepest that I have ever gone is about 40 to 50 feet, um, and I could stay underwater for about 45 to 60 minutes with one tank. And if you ever run out of oxygen, you pull your waist out and swim to the top as quickly as possible. Or you look for someone around you that has an oxygen tank full of air too. Now we have a couple of questions about your gear. Yosef wants to know how you swim so fast. Carson wants to know how you breathe underwater. And Nate wants to know how heavy is your gear? My fins are what helps me go really fast. They're really long and they bend really well. Um, I breathe underwater with, ever my, with my oxygen tank and this regulator right here in my mouth. And my gear is about 50 to 60 pounds. It's really heavy. All right, guys, so that's the end of my video. So here are a couple of pictures of fish that I have seen. Here's some type of ray. Um, this is what seems to be a type of crab. I can't really tell. Uh, here's a little squid guy swimming by. Then whenever we keep going, we see a coral reef, one of the things Charlie asked about. Then there's an eel, and those are very dangerous. Stay away from them. Here's some more fish for you. And then here's a picture of me scuba diving. And then this is a random statue that we found. Bye, guys.